Borneo Campaign, 1945 The Borneo Campaign of 1945 was the last major Allied campaign in the Southwest Pacific area during World War II. In a series of amphibious assaults between May 1 and July 21, the Australian I Corps, under Lt. Gen. Leslie Moore's head, attacked Imperial Japanese forces occupying the island. Allied naval and air forces, centered on the U.S. 7th Fleet under Admiral Thomas Kincaid, the Australian 1st Tactical Air Force and the U.S. 13th Air Force also played important roles in the campaign. They were resisted by Imperial Japanese Navy and Army forces in southern and eastern Borneo, under Vice Admiral Mikiaki Kamada, and in the northwest by the 37th Army, led by Lt. Gen. Baba Maseo. The plans for the Allied attacks were known collectively as Operation Obo. The invasion of Borneo was the second stage of Operation Montclair, which was aimed at destroying Imperial Japanese forces in, and reoccupying the Dutch East Indies, Kingdom of Sarawak, Brunei, Labuan, British North Borneo and the Southern Philippines. Borneo in particular was considered at the time a strategic location for its natural resource, oil. The Borneo campaign was criticised in Australia at the time and in subsequent years, as pointless or a waste of the lives of soldiers. Modern historians such as Max Hastings have said that attacking these forces, already cut off from Japan, was a waste of resources. Any rational strategic judgment would have left them to their own devices screened by token allied forces until their nation's defeat enforced their surrender. It has been argued that the campaign did, however, achieve a number of objectives, such as increasing the isolation of significant Japanese forces occupying the main part of the Dutch East Indies, capturing major oil supplies, and freeing allied prisoners of war, who were being held in increasingly worse conditions. The initial Allied plan comprised six stages, Operation Obo-1 was to be an attack on Tarakan, Obo-2 against Balak Papan, Obo-3 against Banjur Mazan, Obo-4 against Surabaya or Batavia, Obo-5 against the Eastern Netherlands East Indies, and Obo-6 against British North Borneo. In the end only the operations against Tarakan, Balak Papan and British Borneo at Labuan and Brunei Bay took place. The campaign opened with Obo won by a landing on the small island of Tarakan, off the northeast coast on May 1, 1945 using Australian-built Mgeen fall boats. Small parties paddled in the Tarakan region to obtain useful information and observe the Joata oilfields prior to an invasion. On May 29, 1945, the Obo 6 party, including Sergeant J. Wang Su, was inserted into Kamani's Bay. British North Borneo for close reconnoitering work using a Hone military fallboat deployed from a Catalina aircraft. On June 10, 1945 Obo 6 subsequently followed with simultaneous assaults on the island of Labuan and the coast of Brunei, in the northwest of Borneo. A week later, the Australians followed up with attacks on Japanese positions around Weston on the northeastern part of Brunei Bay. The attention of the Allies then switched back to the central east coast with Obo 2. The last major amphibious assault of World War II was at Balak Papan on July 1, 1945. These operations ultimately constituted the last campaigns of Australian forces in the war against Japan.